Nearly a century and a half after its conclusion, the Civil War remains the central event in American history. I am Eric Foner, the DeWitt Clinton Professor of History at Columbia University. I have taught here since 1982, and my research and scholarship has mostly focused on the period that this course will be covering. If you want to know where the world you're living in came from, you need to know about the Civil War era. How the national state, the national government got to be as powerful as it is, how we went from slavery to a period of great equality and then a retreat from that into a period of considerable inequality. That helps to explain the civil rights movement and in a certain sense helps to explain how we elected the first black president in American history. This new online series explores the history of the Civil War and the reasons for its continued relevance today. The first course will deal with the 1850s. It is called A House Divided because that is the story we're telling, how the United States divided into two societies, one based on slave labor, one based on free labor, and careened toward the greatest political and military crisis in our history. The following two courses in the series cover the conduct of the Civil War itself, the coming of emancipation, and the struggle after the war to breathe meaning into the freedom acquired by the four million slaves. What you will see in this course is me teaching my lecture course on the Civil War and Reconstruction to Columbia University students, but in 10-minute segments with quizzes, polls, activities, and illustrations from the Civil War era interspersed. Every week we will feature filmed lectures, conversations, discussions, and more. And every student online will have the opportunity to interact personally with this material and with me and my teaching assistants, all of whom are historians in the making at Columbia University. In this course, we are getting a certain kind of history that has been developed over the decades in the Columbia History Department, a history that tries to bring together political history, social history, intellectual history, and Columbia History Department has a long tradition of reaching audiences outside the uh, so-called ivory tower of the university. This particular MOOC technology enables me to reach probably more students than I have in my entire career. 